In uh, this video, we're going to take a look at the solubility of these three different liquids, the water, the isopropanol, and the canola oil, in each other. So I, for the water, to make it more visible, I put some blue food coloring in the water on the left. The middle one is the isopropanol. It's got a slight pink color because I actually reused it from the M&M experiment, where a slight amount of the M&M sugar did dissolve. And then I have the two, two cups here of the oil. So first I'm going to take the water and add it to the oil and we'll mix it around. Okay, and first of all you see this big glob in the middle here. And we'll mix it around. And we can break it into little globs. But if you take a look at this and we'll look at it from the side now, the water is, the globs of water are just sitting at the bottom here. They're not mixing at all with the oil. They're just forming a separate layer at the bottom. So there's really no mixing at all taking place there. Okay, let's add the uh, isopropanol to the other oil. And we'll mix that one around as well. Now here the isopropanol actually is a little bit lighter than the oil, so it floats on the surface. So you can see a little pink layer on the surface there. But again, just like with the water, which was heavier than the oil and sunk, the isopropanol is floating, but it's a separate layer. It does not mix with the oil. So neither the water nor the isopropanol will mix with the oil. Well, let's take the, um, uh, the, the isopropanol and now mix it with the water. So we'll take some of the isopropanol here, which is in this uh, slight pink color, and we'll put some of the water in there, and we'll mix that around. And here, we don't see any layers. We see just a uniform single layer. So the water and the isopropanol completely dissolve in each other, completely mix, no formation of two layers. Okay, so let's uh, talk a little bit about that.